much, uh, officials, members of the media. The year 2019 presents South Africa and South Africans with the most important opportunity for social and political change since 1994. In no other year will the vote of each and every South African be as critical as in 2019. This means citizens who want change must vote in their numbers because this opportunity will never come again for many years to come. We therefore call on all young people in South Africa to come out in their numbers this coming weekend on the 26th, 27th, January 2019 to register to vote for EFF. Young people must take a decision that they will not leave it only to elderly and middle-aged citizens to determine political power and direction of society as it has been the case for the past 25 years. We must all adopt an attitude that says nothing about us without us. Register to vote EFF in 2019. We have observed the ANC disrupting schooling in the name of voter registration, where their volunteers have been going into schools to address learners during school hours. This disruption has been allowed by principals who are aligned to the ANC, and it must come to an end. We call on the Department of Education to intervene and stop this maintenance of this anti-intellectual bunch who disrupt schooling for political gymnastics. The leadership structure of the EFF comprising of 52 regional command teams, nine provincial command teams, the central command team gathered at Imbelo Lodge, Mangaung, Free State over the last weekend to consider the EFF National Elections Manifesto and national list of individuals to serve in provincial legislatures and parliament. We are proud to announce that this assembly discussed the EFF manifesto in detail and that the central command team has since adopted. This manifesto will be launched on the 2nd of February 2019 at a manifesto rally to be held at Giant Stadium in Soshanguve, Tswan. Accordingly, the conference also took nomination for public representatives year in, year with is the outline of the process that was followed. First, each region met with, within the regional list assembly to nominate public representatives for legislature in each province, province to province list. The entire list for provincial representatives was then compiled into one single ballot in provincial list assembly. Each province then met to consider nominations for parliament, national to national list, and a single ballot was compiled, compiled and confirmed by entire plenary of the assembly. This was followed by voting for province to province list and national to national list simultaneously through a secret ballot. This rigorous democratic process resulted in the entire court of candidates from the commander in chief to ordinary EFF members being subjected to a secret ballot. This process will be concluded by the National List Committee constituted by national officials of the EFF, which has the responsibility to come up with the final list of public representatives of the EFF at provincial and national level. The National List Committee will, amongst other things, take into consideration aspects like gender balance, continuity, youth representation, geographic spread, and will also do the vetting to check criminal record, credit record, political and organizational behavioral conduct of each candidate. It will also look at the social conduct of all candidates within society in general and how society <coughs> receives them. The EFF knows that Solim Simang has resigned as the Tswane mayor stating as his reasons, the need to focus exclusively on the election campaign for premiership of Kauji. The reasons offered are unconvincing, and therefore, we do not accept this and dismiss them as frivolous. The, their intent is to cover up a much deeper problem in the widely dominated DA caucus of the Tswani Metro Council. If we are to accept this reason, then it must mean that there are different rules for black people in the DA. This is because Ellen did a campaign for the position of Premier of Western Cape while she held the position of the Mayor of the City of Cape Town and DA National. The EFF will closely monitor developments in Twani 
and when the time to elect the new mayor comes, we will announce our course of action. The EFF is not surprised by revelations of massive acts of corruption leveled by the former CEO of Usasa, Mr. Angelo Agris, at the State Capture Commission of Inquiry Yeri. Mr. Agris's evidence has ushered the country into another network of corruption, money laundering, and state capture facilitated by a powerful white man, Mr. Gavin Watson. Many prominent politicians of the ANC, as expected, members of the NPA and Correctional Service have been implicated in despicable acts of money laundering and corruption allegations. As a point of departure, we call upon heightened security and protection of Mr. Agrizi because some of the individuals he has implicated in his testimony have a history of killing those who they disregard, they disagree with, as far back as in the MK camp of Quattro in exile. Furthermore, call on Nombula Mkwenyani, Wedeman Tashe, Balega Mbete, Nosiviwa Mapisa Nakula to all resign from both parliament and cabinet. In making the call, we place emphasis on Mugonyani, who has been swimming in a pool of scandals throughout her term as a member, uh, as a cabinet member. If the president, Sir Ramaphosa, has not acted on her to this day, it must be because he too is a beneficiary of her corrupt activities. Ramaphosa, as the president of the republic, must call an open press conference and take the country into confidence about his dealings with Busas. This must be a press conference in which journalists will be able to ask open questions. His explanation in Parliament regarding Busasa has exposed him as having lied since both his son and Busasa contradicted him. He must further produce credible evidence demonstrating that he has indeed paid the alleged 500,000 that he wrongfully received, received for his campaign as ANC president, as he promised to do so. Failure to do so will lead the EFF requesting Parliament to turn the State of the Nation address into the President answering questions on his involvement in the Busasa case. We give the President until the end of January to comply with the above, failing which we will write to the Speaker of the National Assembly to convert the SONA into question and answering session for the President. The EFF calls on the National Director of Public Prosecution, Advocate Shamila Badoi, to pursue all those who are implicated in Busasa without any fear or favor. She must accordingly review all NPA decisions ever taken on Busasa, and all those in the NPA who are implicated in Busasa must resign with immediate effect. South Africa suffered for a full nine years of kleptocratic nightmares facilitated by Jacob Zuma as the president of the republic. Upon his removal, Zuma did warn South Africa that even those in the ANC who call him corrupt are the most corrupt and will be exposed. South Africans must simply ask how it is that to this day Ramaphosa has not been referred to the ANC Integrity Committee given his implication in Busas. The silence of the Ramaphosa Defense Force and Stratcom regarding Busasa on social media and traditional media platforms is shocking to say the least. Soon, the people of South Africa will witness the alliance of the Zuma and Ramaphosa groups uniting to discredit Agrizi. It is clear that even the leadership of the DA is implicated in the Busasa crimes against the public purse. We call on other companies like Bidvest to be exposed in how their dealings with government have also been facilitated. Take, taken the scale of business contract Bitvest enjoys with the state, it is possible that they too have behaved in the same way that Busasa has to secure their dominance. Finally, we reiterate our call on the State Capture Commission of Inquiry Secretary to resign following the, the fact that he is implicated in the Busasa scandal. He cannot serve as an official in a commission that hears evidence about his own involvement in corruption. This results in a clear conflict of interest. We wrote a letter to Justice Zondo to inquire about the process followed to procure the venue of the commission. Justice Zondo referred us to the secretary of the commission.
Commission in November, and to this day, Usasa beneficiary has not responded. We still demand full disclosure of the process followed to secure the Tiso of Black Star venue and the amounts involved. We want Justice Zondo and the nation about the commission taking place in a building owned by Sunday Times. Today, it is Justice Zondo who is complaining about the media leaking sensitive commission information in pursuit of profit. In addition to the profit motive, they do it to intimidate witnesses that will release information that is not in their favor and promote witnesses that will reveal information that is in line with their agenda to promote Ramapo. We reject the SANAP's attempt to intimidate the State Capture Commission by invoking freedom of expression. If they had, an, if they had any problems with any of the regulations governing the Commission, they should have challenged them in court of law. What is more concerning is that SANAP itself is a beneficiary of Busasa dating money. All we want to hear from SANAP is, when will they pay back the money? In all of these major corruption scandals that have broke the country recently, from the Guptas, DBS, Mutual Bank, and Busasa, I can confidently say the EFF is the only political party that has not received the dating money. The people of South Africa must realize that no one, not even Ramaphosa in the ANC, is above the corruption that has characterized the past 25 years of ANC rule. We still have fresh scars of Ramaphosa's involvement in the brutal murder of the mine workers in Marikan. Even with Ramaphosa at the helm of the ANC, there is no new dawn. The ANC remains the African national corruption. It always was under Zoom. We have no business sending such corrupt men and women back into government in their Tumamina project. Tumamina is an ANC project lead, led by Ramaphosa to send each other to steal more money from the pool. The true ANC manifesto is what Agrisi is presenting in the State of Capture Commission. I thank you. Thank you very much, CIC. So I'm going to ask that we take the first round of questions uh, from the rest of you guys. Number one, number two, number three. So those who are behind cameras, if you can rise, so I see your No one else? Number four. Anyone else? Okay, let's start with number four.
relation to your call for the resignation of uh, political office bearers and politicians named in the Zola Commission of Inquiry's latest hearing, don't you think it's a double standard to call for their resignation, while with your own national office bearers on DPS, you haven't made a similar call? Thank you. Mr. President, um, let's start
I called Mbalula, I said, since you are involved in this uh, oversized dress suit <laughs> of Olympics where they say you took the man, I hope you are not you are not going to find you in this facade. He reminded me and said, Julian, from your time when you were in the ANC, when have you ever had me or you or any of us talking about Usasa? Look at the history of Usasa. If we have any dealing, you would know you are going to be involved. So I'm not talking about only now in the EFF, even in the ANC time. I was never involved with the Guptas. The most corrupt man, Julius Malem. You will never find him in the most obvious corrupt scandals. Guptas, VBS, Busasa. We are nowhere. We know the attempt to discredit the EFF. That's why you talk about the research of 9%. You must go and ask your friends who gave you this research now. Where did they put the EFF in 2013 and subsequently 2014? It is the same people, some of them, who said the EFF will get 1%. And then, on the eve of 2014 elections, they said 4%. The highest was 4%. Why should I listen to them now? When they put me at 9%, I'm very happy. You know why? It means I've not lost a single vote. I don't want to lose a single vote. Because it means there is one person who regret voting for the EFF. But even if I get one vote extra, it means I've done what the people have sent me to parliament to do, and I've even attracted one extra. The only loss for the EFF in the coming elections will be to go below where we are now. Otherwise, we are going forward. We are growing. And uh, even those who hate us, they they acknowledge that we are a party that is growing faster than all of these political parties. 